What's going on, guys? Welcome to PNP. This is your boy Dave, one half of PNP, and I'm here to talk about Elijah Mitchell and the 49ers running backs for today's Fantasy Spotlight. Um, and before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of these coming up into the fantasy football season. Might pick up the pace a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But become a patron because those individuals already have access to this video and they've had access for the past couple of days. And they get to request who I do. And this one was a request from my Patreon subscribers and I thank you for that. Now, that being said, we need to talk about Elijah Mitchell. Now, Elijah Mitchell is, you know, starting running back for the San Francisco 49ers. But the thing, the dilemma when it comes to this starting running back is that he has a committee. Or does he? But I think he does. So let's get into the data and we'll tell you how, and I'll tell you how I feel about the situation that Elijah Mitchell is going through right now. So the first thing you need to consider, he was 20th in, in fantasy last season in PPR formats. Fantasy points per game, but 13.8 fantasy points per game. Good enough for a low end RB2. Low end RB2, you know, in a in a in a 10 or a 12 team league, you know, in PPR formats. He had 165 um, fantasy points, which is good for 26 from that standpoint. Like I said before, he was in a running back by committee. All right. Running back by committee, which means he had a multitude of running backs that also took carries and even a wide receiver. Let's get into that real quick. Here's the 49er running back video from, from last season. The San Francisco 49ers led the NFL in carries. He, they had 499 carries, which is almost 29.4 carries a game. Pretty much almost 30 carries a game. Like, so there's some teams that talk about having 30 or more carries per game. And this team right here was about that life pretty much. 29.4 carries per game. The other thing you need to consider. Elijah Mitchell was part of that committee. He did lead that committee with 207 carries, but look at the other players that got carries as well. Jeff Wilson got 79. Debo Samuel, wide receiver, got 59. Trey Sermon got 41. And Trey Lance got 38, which is kind of astonishing considering that he wasn't the starting quarterback. And Jimmy Garoppolo got 38 carries as well. Um, and the thing that was interesting about the data when I was looking at it, 49ers didn't really pass any running backs like that. Elijah Mitchell... Who's the starting running back? He had 19 catches. Jermichael Hasty had 23. Not too many, not too many, like, so you're talking for the starting running back, you're talking about close to two catches a game, give and take, because he only played 11 games last season. Um, so from that standpoint, you got to take those things into consideration when you start deciding how you want to handle Elijah Mitchell. And it's crazy to think because his rankings are pretty much similar in non-PPR formats versus PPR formats. So those are some things that you got to keep in mind from that aspect. But the bottom line is this. The San Francisco 49ers is a run-first offense. The anticipation is that Trey Lance is going to be the new starter quarterback. They're probably going to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't think this is going to change because now you have a young quarterback and great and good young quarterbacks. To make them great, you need to have a phenomenal run game, and they are very committed when it comes to the run game. Now, that being said, when you go into the entire spectrum of it all, you're going to have to be more concerned about Trey Lance taking more of those carries this upcoming season. I don't see Garoppolo on the roster. Jeff Wilson's still there. Debo's still there, and he just got the bag. So you just got to pay attention to that. But it looks like, based on the data that I saw, they want Elijah Mitchell to be the lead guy. I don't think that's going to change. So from that standpoint, I think he's going to be a good option in certain aspects of your draft and, and something to not be worried about. But there are a few things that you need to consider. So as I go into my final thoughts, he's absolutely lead back. I have him still as a low-end RB2 flex, pretty similar to what he got he did last year. I don't anticipate a level of a breakout. I think even with Mike McDaniel no longer being the offensive coordinator and now the head coach of the Miami Dolphins, I still think they're going to still be a run-first run type of offense. So in last season, he averaged about 20 touches a game, the two catches with about 18 carries, give and take. So keep that in mind. and But also keep in mind that they drafted a running back in 2022. Tyrion Davis Price. I'm concerned about the goal line aspect of it. So you, this touchdown number is, is not going to be that high because they tend to swap the running backs when he gets in the goal line and gets in the red zone. So that's another thing you got to consider as well. So, you know, you're not going to get that many touchdowns. You're going to get those 20 catches. But when they get closer to the red zone, when they get close to the end zone, 
he tends to not get those opportunities. He might get a little. He might not. He's not going to get that much. I don't think that's. And with Trey Lance now, he Trey Lance is going to probably do some creepy draws and things of that sort. So the touchdown is going to be tough to come by. Um, the, the ballpark consist the consistency is around 49th for the wall and 23rd at running back. That's about where he's probably going to go. I, I kind of agree with that aspect. My rankings are pretty close. Um, and I just released my first set of fancy rankings on the first. So check those out. Um, if you're a patron, you should already have access to it. So once again, man, that's pretty much all I have. The bottom line, low end RB2 flex for Elijah. Um, I don't see a breakout. I'm concerned about his, 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 his uh, touchdown opportunities and things of that sort. So that being said, guys, this was fun. A little bit shorter than normal, but I don't think, I thought I only needed about five minutes or so to try to get over what I wanted to do. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook at Panther Nation PC. Follow us, well, no, Facebook is, is Panther Nation Podcast. Everybody else is Panther Nation PC, like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, things of, no nature, things of that nature. Follow us on all our social media outlets is the bottom line where I'm getting at. And become a patron if you haven't done so already. Please, ma'am, please, sir, become a patron. I've been answering fantasy questions all day. I go through the gauntlet when it comes to that. And I'm going to be doing, a, I do Zooms to go over fantasy strategies with my Patreon members. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm out.